Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your boy YBK here back with another video and today I'll be showing you guys how to bypass the Google FRP lock on an Icewalk Viper. So without further ado, let's get into it. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first thing we're going to do is check just to show you guys that the Google FRP lock is indeed on it. So I'm just checking here to show you guys. Alright, select don't copy. It's checking info. All right, so now it's asking for the pattern that was on the device before or the Google account. All right, and you can see I'm trying several patterns here that are not working. So I'm going to the Google account part now just to show you guys. All right, so there you go. It is saying verify your Google account, which means you should enter the one that was on the device before. This video is only for educational purposes. So if it's that you locked yourself out of your device or forgot your Google password and so on, then this method is for you. All right. So now I'm going to go to emergency call and select at the top where it says emergency information. Then select it once more. Now you're going to select the edit icon at the top right hand corner. Then add contact. And you can select any contact from here. So I'm just going to select that one. Then select the contact again. Then select on the three dots for the options at the right and share. Now you're going to select Gmail. And skip. Next, you're going to select add um, email and select other. Then just enter any random email here, even if it's not a valid one. So just enter anything at anything.com. Then next. Then select exchange. All right, then select the part that says certificate and set lock. All right, so now you're going to select um, fingerprint and pattern. Then you set a new pattern. And next, then verify the pattern. All right. Now skip this, skip anyway, and cancel. All right, so now you're going to restart the device. So you just hold on on the power key, and then when restart comes up on the screen, you select it. All right, so now you just wait on the device to restart. All right, so now you slide up the screen and enter the pattern that you just set. Select start. Wait on this to check for updates and so on. I'm just going to speed this up here. Alright, so next you're going to go ahead and select don't copy. And wait on this to check for information and so on. Now enter the pattern that you just created. 
Just checking for info once more. Now, there you go. It's no longer asking for the old Google account. So you can just go ahead and skip this. And skip. And wait for it to configure, then more, more again, and accept. Then skip this once more. All right, so it's now adding the finishing touches. Okay, and there you go, you're now into the device. All right, so I'm just gonna go to settings and show you guys. All right, scroll down okay and here are the information for this device right here all right so as you guys can see we're safely into the device you can now set a new google account and so on so guys if you enjoyed this video please remember to like subscribe and share and if you want to see more of my videos you can check out the links at the end of this one all right guys so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time.